It's not about control. Stand down. It's a relationship. Based on respect. These animals are thinking, I gotta eat. I'm gonna hunt. I gotta... You gotta be able to relate to at least one of those things. Every time we've unveiled a new attraction, attendance has spiked. That was awesome! Corporate felt genetic modification would up the wow factor. They're dinosaurs. Wow enough. She was designed to be bigger than the T-Rex. What happened to the sibling? She ate it. We have an asset out of containment. What is that? Her tracking implant. She clawed it out. How would it know to do that? She remembered where they put it in. Oh, God. She's killing for sport. You got 20,000 people. You got no more boats. You don't have enough guns. If we do this, if we do this my way. Get eyes on target. Light it up! Something's wrong. They're communicating. We're talking about an animal here. A highly intelligent animal. going with this fancy new dinosaur, I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the movie we had a Caesar moment. You know, in Rise of the Planet of the Apes when Caesar finally spoke and everyone was like, holy crap. And it was awesome. Although here, I don't know, I think it would elicit some major laughs from the crowd. But they do seem to be heading a little bit in the direction of the more, of the more intelligent this dinosaur gets, the more human it gets. And that particularly struck me. Uh, they've said, that, said it before, but for some reason it, it made more of an impression here when Chris Pratt says, this dinosaur is killing uh, for sport. And, and it was such a contrast, I think, to the earlier thing that he says in the beginning of the trailer, where dinosaurs just, you know, they have instincts, they have animal needs. Uh, quite quite the difference, right? Uh, and you see that just within the trailer. So I hope the movie is intelligent enough to pick up on that. Uh, and also, on a side note, that they would repeat part of the clip that got them in so much trouble recently with Joss Whedon calling them sexist, I think was a bold move. And I have to say, when that clip first came out, I was like, why is everyone fighting for writing credits for this movie, right? And there's a big fight with the Writers Guild about who actually officially wrote Jurassic World, and I'm like, it looks... Looks like it doesn't have that great writing. Who would want credit for that? But now that I see it in, uh, in the larger scope and context, it does seem maybe like it's um, you know something someone would want credit for. Uh, I think this trailer is somewhat successful. I think this is the final trailer before the film is released. Uh, we'll see if they, I'm sure they won't be able to uh, resist some TV spots. Remember that big thing about the end? Oh, it's the final Avengers trailer. And then they were like, oh, but wait, there's just like a billion TV spots for us to show you and see if you can piece together the movie. Uh, but I think that, I hope there there is more promotion coming for this film, because I think that this doesn't have quite the wow factor that you want right before you want to make sure everybody buys their ticket, right? I think that what this trailer does is I think it, uh, it does bring in some of the idea of, you know, the character arc for the dinosaur, some of the bigger questions that are going to be asked. And also it shows the rest of the cast. You know, a lot of people, we were like, where were you? Isn't Omar C in this movie? Where's where's uh, Vincent D'Onofrio? Although now he's Wilson Fisk. And I'm like, ah, oh, so everybody stand aside. 
Fisk is going to headbutt that new dino and it'll be all taken care of. Uh, this does seem to be almost the Wilson, the Wilson Fisk uh, dinosaur, right? Uh, I'm a big fan of Daredevil. I think that, that show is fantastic. If you haven't watched it, you're missing out. So it's nice to see the other cast members show up. Jake Johnson, we even saw him, his mustachioed self and kind of like the Samuel L. Jackson role from the first film. Uh, and I do hope they do a good job building up the personnel. I don't want it to just be D uh, Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt, even though there are leads. I would love to see other personnel, even if they end up being, you know, uh, fodder for the dinosaurs. And by the way, I did like that quick shot where you see um, uh, the, the, the screens they're looking at in the control room, and you can see the vital signs of the people they've sent out to try and take this dinosaur down, and they're one by one redlining as the dinosaur picks them off. So I think that this trailer did a good job of indicating more stories to come, but where I think it really drops the ball is that there isn't really any shock and awe. And shock and awe is a really important aspect for a trailer for a blockbuster. Uh, especially, again, as I said, the one that's supposed to compel you to buy the ticket if you're still on the fence. And I think the dinosaur running around the dome was supposed to be that here, but it didn't, I didn't feel that. Actually, all it did was actually make me think of uh, Iron Man... Uh, two Iron Man two when they're in the dome and uh, they're fighting Whiplash, uh, you know, uh, Rhodey and uh, Stark, and I was that's all that's all it made me think of. Also that and Hunger Games. I was like surprising amount of domes in movies. Uh, so that's kind of that, that distracted me, and I wasn't focused on what I was watching. Although I did think it was interesting when they were like, "Hey, the dinosaurs talking," and what if you know the dinosaur is trying to like talk those Velociraptors into being on uh, its side, right? It's like, why do you side with the humans? You really kind of almost do have a, a Rise of the Planet of the Apes kind of storyline going on here. Uh, but I love theme parks, so I'm excited about that angle, and I hope to see that explored a little bit more in the actual movie. So I think this is a pretty good trailer. It's not as great as I would have liked it to have been, but it doesn't, it, doesn't, it, do, it doesn't get me more excited to see the movie, but it doesn't get me less excited to see it either. So what do you think? Write your own thoughts down below. Do you want to see this dinosaur talk? Uh, what do you think of the additional cast members that have shown up to the party? Anybody you're particularly excited for? Or do you think this is still the Chris Pratt show? And also, what do you think of that clip, that very controversial clip, now that you see it in a little bit more context? I think it seems a little bit better, uh, and I'm curious if you agree. All right, thank you so much for tuning into my review. If you, I'm not sure if I should do a shot-by-shot -shot analysis for this trailer. I don't think there's a lot really to discuss in that regard. So please don't let me do, uh, know down below if you'd like to see one. And if I, I get enough requests, I will, I will make one later today. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we can also continue our conversation down below, and you can check out some other episodes, as well as a shot-by-shot -shot review of the new Fantastic Four trailer, which will be go going up shortly right now.